So, in terms of playing guitar, um, you're originally from Brazil. Yes. When did you when did you start playing, and uh, who were your influences back then? Wow, I started playing when I was nine, and well, my main influences back there uh, Steve Vai, John Petrucci. Oh, those kinds of guys. Yeah. Yeah, I was totally into you know that track. Sure, yeah. Vibe and John Petrucci, Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, yeah. and a bunch of Brazilian guitar players yeah. as well. So did you spend a lot of time trying to, you know... Yeah, but the fact that I, I've i never played like those guys, you know, I, I remember when I'm trying to play, you know, to learn a solo from John Petrucci and I, dude, I've never got the the right, you know, the right notes, you know, I couldn't play <laughs> exactly the same as the record, you know, so I was like, you know what, let me just do my own thing yeah. or play a little bit different, you know. So how did you, I mean, because as you said, you know, when I hear you playing that, I wouldn't have expected you to <laughs> to say those guys because no, yeah. you play nothing like these guys. No, I grew up listening to metal and yeah. hard rock stuff. So how did you end up playing this, you know, more lyrical, melodic uh, manner? Oh, uh, this was after my friend introduced me to John Mayer's music. Yeah. And then I I thought it was pretty cool the way he played and it was the way he plays and I kind of changed my my way of playing. Yeah. And he was like a huge game changer for me. Yeah. And and after John Mayer's music, I was okay, how can I play this in a different way? Yeah. And I started going, listen, uh, listening to a little bit more blues guys, uh, Steve Ray, Jimi Hendrix, and after that, you know, I I started listening to Andy Mackey yeah. a lot because I love the finger style yeah. technique. Yeah. And Andy Mackey was also another guy who changed my my way of playing, and now. I, I'm trying to do, you know, something with all of these guys together. Yeah, merge it all together. Exactly. Well, I think you're doing pretty well, I have to say. <laughs> so <laughs> speaking of the, the finger style thing, I was actually noticing that you, you know, you seem to be able to switch seamlessly between playing with a pick and 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 finger style in terms of, you, you kind of hide the pick somewhere. I didn't even notice where, I, where there it went. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's something natural. It's hard to explain that, but... Uh, especially on my Instagram videos, I try to do a mix of uh, chord progressions, you know, chords and soloing parts. Yeah. So when I'm doing, you know, I, as I was playing. Natural, yeah. There's no like technique. Or it looks a little bit like when you do it like that. It looks like you yeah, know, like cop tricks or something like that. You would be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's I don't know. It's hard to explain, yeah. honestly. But so you didn't consciously practice it. It's just kind of exactly came, like, okay. So um, in terms of you know music, I know you're playing with Tori Kelly a lot. Yes, I've been playing with her since 2015. So yeah. it's been almost. Two years, three yeah. years, yeah. It's Are you on the albums as well, or the unfortunately albums? not? Yeah, I'll, you know, the producers has their own team, so. Yeah. But I'm I'm touring with her. Uh, so yeah. Every every time she's on tour, she calls me. So I guess there's a lot of guys out there who would love to, you know, hear some more of, of your music. Do you have plans to do like a solo album or something like that at some point? Definitely. It's just like it's you just... give us little snippets, like one minute. It's like, oh, I want more. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. But this is my main goal for 2017. Okay. I'm already, you know, we... I mean, it is a long process. Yeah. But I still have... I mean, I have... already have some ideas. You know some music ideas, and but I still have a lot, a lot of things to work yeah. before. You know because I don't want to release an instrumental, instrumental album. Okay. You know there it's gonna be. I want something. You know, with vocals yeah. as well. So I still have to 
work on these things, yeah. you know. So I'm, uh, now I'm trying to talk to some singer songwriters yeah. and work on some different stuff, you know. Well, I'm really excited about to hear yeah. that actually. So, uh, but I'm not saying that it's like I, I'm. It's definitely gonna be a lot of guitars. Yeah, you know, some guitar parts, guitar solos for yeah. sure. But I want to give a little bit of focus on melodies and vocal yeah. stuff too. So it's the John Mayer thing where you have the musicianship, but you also have the great songwriting as well. And yeah, yeah, exactly. But I'm listening to a lot of different guys as well. Like, uh, have you heard of Bonnie Vera, right? Oh yes, yes. Of so, course, so I want. I don't know. I, I'm. I'm listening. I'm. You know. I'm totally into his music. Do you like right the now. new album, by the way? Yeah, it's. That's the point. You know, it's something kind of. I was of like, like, whoa, what's It's that? artsy, yeah. but at the same time, it's musical. It's. Yeah. I'm a big fan yeah. of Justin, and I. I want. I want. I would love to have something. I don't know. Yeah. In a relationship with yeah. that. That would be cool, I think. <laughs> so, yeah. thanks so much for taking the time to do this, and uh, best of luck with the uh, with the career and the uh, you know the solo album and everything. Likewise, man. I'm thank big you. Fan of you. Thank you.